Pastor Hudson. I'm delighted to be with you today. And today I'm going to bring you a devotion from Psalms chapter 4 and verse number 5. Psalms 4 and verse 5 says, For thou art not a God who hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Charles Spurgeon once wrote almost 100 years ago before the onslaught of TV, he said, If I have wickedness brought before me by others, I will turn away from it. I will not gaze upon it with pleasure. Not only shall it not dwell in his heart, but not even before his eyes. For what fascinates the eye is very apt to gain admission into the heart. And that is from Spurgeon, the treasury of David Spurgeon. Imagine, a hundred years ago, if this is what he said, what would he say about what we see today? The psalmist said, For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, indicating that there are gods who may take pleasure in wickedness, there are gods that do recognize evildoers and are okay with that. There are gods that will give approval to evil persons in their deeds, but not our God. There are the gods that have fellowship with wickedness, but not our God. There are gods that have delight in wickedness, but not our God. And there are gods who do take pleasure in wickedness, but not our God. If he is a God that does not recognize the wickedness of men, then we must believe that he is a God that does recognize his righteousness in the lives of men. Consider Genesis chapter 15 and verse 6. And he believed the Lord. It was counted to him for righteousness. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all the commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. <clears throat> he shall pray unto God, Job 33 and 26. And he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy for he will render unto man his righteousness psalms 45 and 7 says thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness therefore god thy god hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled acts 10 and 35 everyone that feareth and worketh righteousness is accepted of him Romans chapter 6 and verse 13, Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. In Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 9, the Bible says, Thou hast loved righteousness, and hated iniquity. And see, here is that verse in the book of Psalm quoted again in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 1. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. You see, years ago, an executive from a soap company, a famous pastor, were walking down the street together. They were to attend a meeting where they were going to be honored by their city for their contributions. With a snide of a sort of smirk, the soap manufacturer offhandedly said, Hey, Reverend, you know when you get right down to it, the good news the church has been preaching for a few thousand years hasn't done much good, has it? Take a look, read the paper, observe. There is still a whole lot of wickedness in the world and a whole lot of people doing a whole lot of wickedness, too. <clears throat> the pastor was quiet for a few minutes, and then he said, but not because he didn't have anything to say, but he wanted to say his piece the right way. They went about a block and a half down the street, passing a little child who was making mud pies in the gutter. The boy's hands were dirty, his face was dirty, his clothes were dirty. Realizing the opportunity, the pastor said, You know, I see that soap hasn't done much for good, good in the world. You see, the boy here shows us a whole lot of dirt and a whole lot of people playing in dirt and a whole lot of people getting dirty. To which the executive of the soap company said in his defense, instantly he said, Oh, Reverend, you know soap is only useful when it's used. And the pastor said, Exactly. So it is with the good news of Jesus crucified and risen again. It is only useful when it's used. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, if you are a God that does not recognize wickedness, but you do recognize righteousness, then, Lord Jesus, help us to submit our wickedness to you, God, and submit ourselves unto you, God, for the power of the cross works in a life that is submitted unto you. And, Lord Jesus, you will give us your righteousness because that is what you will recognize in our lives and you will bless 
And we praise you and thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day in Christ. And I pray that you will live a submitted life to Christ because God does not play, take pleasure in wickedness or in evil. Neither should we, but we should take pleasure in the things that God takes pleasure in, which is his way, his law, and his righteousness. God bless you. Have a God-filled day with the things that the Lord is pleased with.